So you're thinking about moving to Michigan. Before you do so, you should be aware of these 10 pros and these 10 cons of living here in Michigan. Hey there, future home buyers. Welcome back to our channel. You're thinking about moving to Michigan, which is fantastic. In this video, we want to give you a rundown of 10 pros and 10 cons of living here in Michigan. My name is Matt Talbot. My team and I help people just like you every single day move here to Michigan, and we absolutely live for it. We get calls, texts, and emails of people that want to move in the next three to 12 months here in Michigan, and we absolutely love responding to those people and going ahead and helping them out on their home search. If you're curious on moving to the area, if you just want some more information, or if you're thinking about moving here to Michigan, send us a DM or hop on YouTube on our main page. There's a Calendly link, and you can set up intro consultation with me or someone on my team today. We love those conversations. It's so awesome getting calls from people actually all over the world at this point that are moving here to Detroit, Metro Detroit, and Southeast Michigan, and it's super great to be a part of that journey for you guys. So coming in at number one on our list of the pros is Michigan's natural beauty. One of the best parts of Michigan, one of the most beautiful things in Michigan is the natural beauty that we have. So Southeast Michigan's great. Detroit's awesome. Metro Detroit's great for a lot of different reasons. And as you expand west, east, north, if you travel a little bit throughout the state, it is so gorgeous. The the state itself, we always use this. This is the mitten, right? We call it the mitten state. So this is the thumb. Here's Detroit, right? We're able to point accordingly. And up here would be the upper peninsula, which is almost like its own thing. The UP is almost like its own thing. Anyway, so Southeast Michigan is obviously very robust. So is the west side of the state, Grand Rapids and that type of stuff. And throughout the state, there's tons of natural beauty for a lot of different reasons. We have lakes and beautiful landscaping. We have seasons, which allows for a lot of different abilities to see natural beauty throughout the state. So, you know, throughout the state, there's some beautiful areas like Traverse City comes to mind. It's such an awesome area. I just got back from the UP. I was way up, all the way up in Christmas, Michigan by uh, Pictured Rocks. It's such a, a beautiful place. You know, the UP has so much to offer. There's so many lakes and different scenic views. You know, the west side of the state's fantastic as far as Lake Michigan and stuff like that. So no matter where you're at in the state, you're a half hour to maybe two hours max to driving to something that is truly breathtaking and beautiful during any season. Number two on our list flows properly into number one, and that's outdoor recreation. Like I said, there's a lot of lakes throughout the state of Michigan here, so there's a lot of things to do outdoors, a lot of lake sports, so people do, you know, water skiing and wakeboarding and uh, tubing and just going out to hang out in the lake, that's a big one. So recreation is huge throughout the state. You could do snowmobiling. Uh, I think Michigan, last I checked, was number two in the country as far as golf courses, especially per capita. So Michigan in Florida are the two biggest golf areas, which is pretty crazy because of our winters here. So you would think other states have a lot more golf courses, but golf's been big here in Michigan for a very long time. So throughout Southeast Michigan, there's lots of uh, uh, public and private courses. And as you spread throughout the Lower Peninsula and Upper Peninsula, there's some beautiful courses. The courses up north are really, you know, world-class in my opinion, some that will completely change your mind. Arcadia Bluffs comes to mind. It's right there on Lake Michigan. I mean, it is as good as it gets in the world. So regarding outdoor recreation. I have a list here to make sure I don't screw these uh, statistics up, but Michigan has 77 state parks, 11 state forests, one state reserve, and one state wildlife area. There's tons of state parks everywhere. That's both in Southeast Michigan here, as well as throughout the state and all the way up into the UP. Um, 62,798 inland lakes with a surface area of 0.1 acres or larger. So um, almost 60. 3,000 lakes of significant sizes. So there's lakes everywhere, which ties into things to do as far as outdoor activities. It also ties in with fantastic real estate, beautiful homes on lakes or, you know, a stone throw away or with eight, uh, lake access. So here in Michigan, we really try to soak up and enjoy the summers. And you'll understand why once I get into the cons a little bit here uh, as well. But 1,300 square miles of inland lakes. So 1,300 square, square miles of inland lakes, which is pretty crazy. That doesn't include the Great Lakes. So all these statistics are inland lakes. Again, here's the mitten, here's Upper Peninsula, inland lakes, okay? That we were surrounded by the Great Lakes as well too, of course. So when you're looking for lake houses, a lot of things people are 
looking for, at least here in Southeast Michigan, or if you're looking for a lake house, you're looking for all sports, okay, when it comes to real estate. What all sports means, you're able to have motor sports, you're, uh, motor boats, you're able to have um, jet skis and fast uh, fast boats where you can you know do your, your, your water skiing and your wakeboarding and tubing and all that great stuff. So lots of inland lakes, lots of big lakes. It's a huge benefit as far as outdoor activities here in Michigan. Number three on our list of pros of living here in Michigan is a direct correlation from the outdoor activities, and that's our Great Lake lifestyle, okay? So here in Michigan, we have the Great Lakes. We're surrounded by Great Lakes. There's more fresh water here than anywhere else in the country, right? So it's a beautiful place to live for that reason. And anywhere you go, pretty much anywhere you live in the state, like I said, you're only really, you know, a matter of minutes or maybe a couple hours to get to a Great Lake as well too, which leads to a lot of other activities. That's where you get, you know, your sand, beachy sand uh, uh, hangouts, you know, flying kites and going to the going to the beach and hang out. A lot of people like to have homes or condos, you know, whether it's their primary or secondary residence close to the Great Lakes. It's as beautiful as you can get, guys. I don't think, I think it's actually severely underrated. People love oceans. I love oceans. I think it's great traveling, you know, to the coast of our country here. But as far as being in the Midwest, being in the thick of everything, as far as, you know, being able to commute across the country, whether you're going to LA or New York or what have you, and also have such beautiful landscaping and, and different di landscape as far as, you know, different places to go with the Great Lakes. It is really unheard of. If you haven't checked it out, whether you plan on moving here or not, go ahead and fly to Michigan, check out our Great Lakes, do some exploring. Airbnbs are fantastic these days. And so totally that Great Lake lifestyle is a huge benefit, a huge pro of living here in Michigan. Number four on our list of pros of living here in Michigan is affordable housing. So homes are very affordable compared to the other 50 states. We're about 44th out of 50 states as far as affordability so um, that's a great place to be you get a little bit more bang for your buck again depending on where you're list uh, where you're looking for listings um, that can be affected of course um, but as, across the state we're about 44th as far as affordability now you know depending on different markets and inventory and currently you know this video is made here in 2023 you know there's a low inventory so there's still some competition that doesn't mean it's just an easy layup to find a beautiful house that being said we are ranked 44th as far as affordability so if you're moving from Chicago or you're moving from, you know, uh, Texas or California or Florida or a lot of other places, the affordability of houses are definitely up there compared to a lot of states across the country, ranked 44th. What a pro. Coming at number five on our list is the strong job market here in Michigan. So we made another video on our channel. Go ahead and check that out. Living in Detroit on this channel. Um, as far as affordability here in Michigan. And number five on our list is a strong job market. So there's a variety of industries. The biggest industries here in Michigan are mostly automotive. Obviously, the big three's been here for a very long time, um, as well as healthcare, uh, manufacturing, and some other industries as well, too. So we have a very, very strong job market. The specific statistic I want to reference right now is we currently have a 3.6 unemployment rate, which puts us in the middle um, of the state. So we have a strong job market We're right in the middle of the states as far as unemployment. So you're likely to find a job here in Michigan. Michigan in a lot of different uh, industries. Mostly, for the most part, we see a ton of healthcare. We see a ton of engineers in our manufacturing and auto industries as well, too. And as those industries are changing, we're seeing a lot more autonomous vehicles. We're seeing a lot more electric vehicles. So there's more and more opportunity for jobs in a lot of different spaces when it comes to IT, when it comes to um, engineering, as far as computer engineering, you know, coders, all that stuff. A lot of those people we're seeing here in Southeast Michigan and healthcare as well as uh, manufacturing across the state has always been huge for us here in Michigan as well. Coming in at number six on our list of pros here in Michigan is Michigan's cultural attractions, okay? So here in Southeast Michigan, there's tons of stuff going on. Detroit is a very old city with tons of rich history. The Detroit Institute of Arts is the first one that pops in my head. There's over like 100,000 uh, square feet of museum space. It's very world-renowned. There's tons of stuff downtown 
around as far as theaters and stuff like that as well too and as you hop throughout southeast michigan and the state is itself there's a lot of those types of attractions in ann arbor there's countless you know music venues one of my favorites in ann arbor is the arc actually it's a very small boutique place that's that sounds really really good so if you're into music and anyone you know is going to be playing there it's such a great experience because it's such an intimate you know vibe and there's a henry ford museum in dearborn so that dates back for ford motor company there's a museum in there so you know growing up we actually stayed there as a kid like overnight we did like a it was our first like overnight thing like uh, in i think elementary school or middle school it was a cool experience you know so there's a lot of different um examples of cultural things to do here in in southeast michigan and throughout the state coming in at number seven here on our list of pros living in Michigan is educational opportunities. So we have fantastic K through 12 schools across the state as far as public schools. There's lots of great private schools as well too here in Southeast Michigan, Grand Rapids, all throughout the entire state. And then universities, we have a lot of very top tier universities in the state of Michigan. University of Michigan is obviously here. Michigan State University is here. Um, tons of other small schools as well too. Uh, Western Michigan University, that's where I went, go Broncos. It's a great day to be a Bronco. Uh, Central Michigan, there's a lot of other, you know, great universities, Wayne State University. Educational options are huge here in Michigan. Actually, Ann Arbor is an interesting statistic that, you know, pops in and out. I've seen several times where it's like the most educated city in the country, ironically. Um, not ironically, but it's the most educated city in the country many, many times because of the universities. So you have U of M, Concordia, and Eastern Michigan all within the same area. So because of that, Ann Arbor is kind of, it's a very unique uh, area because it's so educated. The hospital systems are there. It's a huge hospital system in Ann Arbor, University of Michigan hospital system. So a lot of people live there, go to school there, and end up staying in that area. It's a beautiful part of town. Um, it does have a downtown area, which lots of stuff to check out, but surrounding it is really kind of like big hills and landscapes and beautiful trees there's lakes and ponds and all different stuff as far as beautiful real estate as well too so educational opportunities here in michigan is huge so if you're looking for that it's a great state to move to number eight on our list well before i get into that i want to remind you if this video provides any value specifically if you're moving here to michigan in the next three to 12 months please hit subscribe and tap for notifications our goal is to educate you more and more of living here in the great state of michigan so coming in Number eight on our list is rich history and heritage. Like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of history dating back all the way to the Native Americans uh, throughout Detroit and Metro Detroit and throughout the state of Michigan. It's very prevalent once you get up into the UP because a lot of the UP has like these very Native American type names for things. A lot of things that are very difficult to pronounce if you don't know how to pronounce them properly. Uh, we should pop up a few on this video. I can't think of some that come to mind. Mackinac as an example. Okay, that's the first one that comes to mind. So Mackinac Bridge takes you from the lower peninsula to the upper peninsula there's also Mackinac Island if you read how it's spelled it, I think it would, it would be like pronounced like Mackinac is like how it, how it would be read properly but it's Mackinac Island so there's lots of these like Native American history things throughout the state and some different language that was used between the French settlers and the Native Americans throughout history as well too as I mentioned the auto industry was huge for us so Detroit and Southeast Michigan here has lots and lots of history from Henry Ford um, when the Model T came out and the assembly line was first created through Henry Ford. This was the place to be. People, this was the, the place people wanted to move to. Everyone wanted to be in Detroit. It was where it was happening. This is where you came to make money. And so that was back, you know, in the early 1900s and stuff like that too. So really the last 100, 150 years, there's tons of history here in Southeast Michigan. But if you go back further between the French settlers and the Native Americans and all the different history here, there's a lot to learn. So very rich history here in Michigan. Coming in at number nine on our list here in Michigan of pros of living here in the state of Michigan is our vibrant food scene. I think if I was ranking these myself, this might even be number one for me. Um, we truly have great food here in Michigan, which I think it's like severely underrated. I've traveled across the country. I've been a lot of places. Yes, of course, if you go to New York City, you can get a great slice of pizza. And you know, there's there's definitely good food in other parts of the country. That being said, I think we're severely underrated. If you're into a lot of different types of food, Michigan is severely underrated. Downtown Detroit, um, in the last really 15, 20 years, there's a lot of new restaurants going in that are really world-class restaurants. A lot of people that have worked at Michelin star restaurants are coming to Detroit and they're making this very cool vibe in the city, I would say. So what I mean by that is it's almost like a uh, almost like a, a hipster new age um, way of, of doing restaurants. Some of, the, some of them are in great areas. Some of them are in up and coming areas. Some of them are different 
parts of town you wouldn't expect there to be such a fantastic you know restaurant but downtown Detroit some real real staples there um, Sullivan Standard is one of the first that come to mind uh, Katoy is another uh, restaurant that's been in Detroit for a long time in Corktown uh, at least for the last few years as far as that newer type type of spin uh, I think they call it the mothership if you're in the restaurant industry so shout out to those people watching this video if you're in the Detroit food scene and you work in the restaurant industry you run a restaurant I absolutely love you because that's literally what I live for Oak and Reel is a new one that pops in my head comes to mind Letheria I mean I can go through Detroit for days but um, as far as you know restaurants themselves throughout the state there's a lot of different opportunities here in Southeast Michigan and throughout the state to eat really 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 good um, Dearborn is actually a, a, one of the biggest if not the biggest Arabic population outside of the Middle East in the entire country um, so because of that there's a diverse group of foods there as well too as far as Middle Eastern food you know lots of Lebanese food and Yemen food and a lot of different great varieties here uh, the Indian cuisine is fantastic throughout the state as well too so um, I believe Michigan has one of the top tier foods I've tried everywhere I go I eat out it's like my thing and I believe we compete with the best of them here in Michigan coming in number 10 on our list last but not least it's number 10 on our list but I don't know if it's number 10 overall there's no particular order here I would say but community spirit uh, Michiganderians Michigandy Michiganderians hard to say that, say that seven times fast <laughs> have fantastic spirit here in Michigan uh, there's a variety of different reasons Michigan is known for a lot of really old small towns throughout the state that people are very passionate and proud of they've been from those areas for a long time there's a lot of farm towns as well too I already mentioned Ann Arbor and how educated it is and how the universities are there and the healthcare system there and Detroit is just one of those cities where if you're from Detroit Detroit it's a big small town okay everyone kind of knows each other and people are very very proud to be from Detroit and be and to be from Michigan so um, actually there's a brand that kind of popped a few year, years ago Detroit versus everyone then it kind of blew up and they've made versus everyone as their uh, as their go-to but Detroit versus everyone you should just shows that there's proud people here uh, the Detroit Lions are supposed to be good this year for the first time in a very very long time and although they've been the worst football team probably in the history of the NFL um, they're really diehard fans here in Detroit I think what's gonna happen actually if we ever win the Super Bowl is the city's just gonna burn down we're gonna have to rebuild it because people are gonna go so wild they're so passionate there's a lot of blue collar people here white collar people here that are very 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 passionate about the city of Detroit about Michigan about where they're from and they're not leaving and what I mean by that is the people here in Detroit and here in Southeast Michigan and throughout the state we are tough people I don't care what you say if you have to deal with Michigan winters and I'll get into some of the cons in a minute if you have to deal with some of the stuff that we have to deal with you need that sense of community you need that sense of purpose there's a lot of other beautiful small towns as well, too, that people are very proud of being from, you know, Plymouth and Northville and Birmingham and some of these other small town fields throughout Southeast Michigan and throughout the state. People are very proud of being from those areas. They don't leave. I've been in the state my entire life. I travel all the time, but this is always going to be home. I'll get into the cons in a minute. So there's some stuff to get through in Michigan, but because of that community, because of the people, the culture, all the things I mentioned on this list, it's a beautiful place to be and it's a wonderful place to live. So guys, that was 10 pros of living here in Michigan. I think there's about 10,000 plus pros of living here in Michigan. There's so many things I can get into. I can obviously talk for forever. In fact, I talked a little bit too long. We're at like 16 minutes on this video, I think, at least recording. We'll see how long, how long it is to edit. So unfortunately, this is going to be part one of the video. Part two is going to be cons, which will be on this channel, on the same playlist. Just tune into that. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do this to you guys, but I was talking to Nick, uh, our videographer here, and I'm like, hey, this is getting way too long. We don't want a 35 minute video. So this is going to be part one if you're interested in the cons go ahead and jump over to part two of this video of 10 pros and 10 cons of living here in michigan i'm matt talbot uh, with the talbot team here in southeast michigan check out video number two